Well, have I got a helmet on? So I just drove to Melbourne, random, yes I know, but uh, I'm here now and I've just done however the hell many k's and really really impressed with the economy of this thing, just cruising, not driving like a dickhead, down to like 14 litres per hundred, but um, car's filthy, gonna uh, give it a wash and then go catch up with my mates tomorrow. It's like watching these guys work is like watching Patty and Selma from The Simpsons. Did you say something about working boxer? I don't work on cars. I got cable ties. This is as far as I go, duct tape and cable ties. I'm a master at leaving air bubbles and stickers. <laughs> So I'm down at Sandown with these two blokes who I've known for about 25,000 years. You probably know them. They've got a little YouTube channel called Full Boost. I've really filmed much stuff at all in Melbourne in the last few days and today's my last day here so I'm going to do a little bit but um, it's been kind of a nice little road trip but um, I wanted to film a bit here today because who knows what the hell's happening at Sandown and I've been here that many times in the past back from Eastern Ads back in the day with these guys right through to supercars and any chance the next time I come here, this is going to be a whole lot of houses, so... It was a sad moment, but um, yeah, hopefully they manage to keep this place going, but um, sounds like it's not going to happen, but uh, yeah, the boys have got the uh, little toy car here, and um, Giordo's just going to go out and test out the new suspension, see what it goes like, so let's have a look and annoy the crap out of them. Typical GoPro. If I want to it's format... much easier when you used to bleach your hair, man. Huh? But... We're, uh, we're looking at, we've got different clothes on today. Yeah, but so just, there's Luke and there's Jordy, yeah. I'm just telling Jordo <laughs> how to format a GoPro. You think they could just have format? No, we've got to call it reset. Even when I first Re got... Reset through preferences, not settings. Settings. I, I don't know GoPros. I never what happened to them. settings format, huh? <laughs> reset. <laughs> it's like, in the 20 or so years I've known these guys, they've never complained about anything. No. <laughs> Hey, um, where's the rest of your engine? <laughs> got a helmet on. Oh hang on. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm not really gonna hurt it because I don't uh, still want to get home. Let's see what happens. But it seemed to behave pretty well. It didn't really take off too hard or anything. But um, it's pretty awesome, this track now. They've done such a good job. Massive credit to Lance and the guys. I'm driving down the freshly sealed return road. And um, yeah, I've currently got the aircon on because it's bloody hot. So 
So uh, yeah, the car's behaving well though. Just gonna like talk to myself for a minute. <laughs> Alrighty. So uh, big thanks to Lance. Just done two runs in the uh, in the Land Cruiser. Absolutely blown away by the fact that it ran a which is crazy. That's pretty good for a big heavy car. Like that Jeep there, that SRTA, it just went 14.8 and I would have expected that to absolutely destroy me. So um, yeah, it kind of makes me want to go out and have another go and see if I could beat them. But um, I need to drive it home. So, and it wasn't really built for drag racing, but um, massive, massive shout out to Lance Warren, the man who I've known through the Fast Fours scene from a long, long time ago, back in the HB Cosmo days. Basically, it's got another rotor added on the end of it. But um, yeah, now this is his passion, his project, apart from GDR Skylines. And um, yeah, in the last nine months, they've done an amazing job with this place. It's really, really good. And it's still, you know, it's still a country track and, you know, not too stressful, low pressure, you know, it's, all, it's always been like that here, but you know, they're just tidying things up, fixing things up. And he's he's got dreams and plans for it as well, which is great, it's not just stopping here. So, but it's just neat and tidy now. and. Um, Maybe I need to get some Hoon TV signage here. Might have to go and talk to him about that. So anyway, uh, I've got the fun job of going and finding somewhere to get a COVID test before I go back to Adelaide. Thanks world. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the road. never done this road before this is awesome and I can see why people would love it on a motorbike pretty tight and twisty so you'd be able to keep the speed limit pretty easy but um, this is just so beautiful through here and we're not even doing like a holiday tour video or anything this is just checking out the, uh, the long road home just done my border check thing they're gonna have a negative COVID test within 72 hours of getting here which I've got and then you had to do an entry thing which I had to apply for and I got and then you have to read out the number then they have to check your vaccination certificate as well and that has to be valid so yeah it's uh, interesting times we live in <sighs> Alright, I just want to travel again. Come on world, get your together.